When you look at Mars today, you probably wouldn't think it looks like a nice place to live. It's plagued by dust storms, razor-thin air, and freezing temperatures. But scientists think that Mars once may have been much more hospitable to life. Now they have found more evidence for that. In rock samples collected and examined by NASA's Mars Exploration Rover, Opportunity, researchers have discovered evidence of an ancient wet environment that was milder and less acidic than previously believed. Scientists directed the Opportunity rover to a place on the rim of the Endeavour crater after data from NASA's reconnaissance orbiter suggested there may be clay minerals on the crater rim which form in the presence of water. And that turned out to be true. When we drove Opportunity on those outcrops, we found evidence for uh, clay minerals. And when we backed out the chemistry of those materials, they would have formed in mildly acidic at best waters and a little bit salty but not much and those are the kinds of waters that would have been habitable back um, a long time ago on Mars. NASA has found evidence of a habitable environment on Mars before. The Curiosity rover, which is studying the Mars surface 5,300 miles away from Opportunity, found clay minerals that formed in relatively mild water conditions last year. But those materials were found in rocks that are younger than the more than 4 billion year old rocks that Opportunity examined, scientists say. All this suggests that Mars, a planet that's 4.65 billion years old, went through three distinct periods. The first was likely warm and wet, as Opportunity's latest discovery shows. And then as Mars started to dry out, you know, there wasn't that much water available and it became much more acidic and form these sulfate salts. Those are kind of intermediate aged rocks. And then, you know, everywhere we look on Mars, the younger rocks are, are very dry. The latest discoveries by the Opportunity rover add new insights into the history of water on Mars and reveal more favorable conditions for microbial life than any previous evidence collected by the rover. This doesn't prove the planet was actually inhabited. However, the more scientists find out about Mars, the more it looks like it had what it takes to host life, Mr. Arvidsson says. It's a very important question. You know, are we alone in the solar system and elsewhere? Or has life evolved on other objects? And, and the red planet, you know, is, is a, a key planet to look at because we now know that early on it had the right niche environmentally and it had water sustained on and beneath the surface and the waters were relatively mild. NASA is planning to launch another mission to Mars in 2020. As a next step in the exploration of Mars, scientists hope the rover will be able to drill rock samples and return them to Earth for more detailed studies. The end result will bring an even more precise picture of whether life once existed on Mars.